morning guys how's it going so we're up at beautiful lake of the woods uh birch point and today's a fishing day but it's not any normal kind of fishing day so me and a couple other local youtubers we decided that uh in the month of june we're gonna have ourselves a little walleye poker tournament so this is my day to do it basically the way it works out is you get eight hours to fish any lake in the month of june and the the goal is to get the best poker hand now I came out here is I know that generally most of the walleye are in that 13 to 22 range so I'm I'm going for I'm trying to go for a straight here five walleye of the same size uh, now the other youtubers that are gonna be running this um, tournament are Josh from Manitoba fishing adventures then we got Nico from outdoor anonymous then of course, your very own Mark from Prey Mountain Man Adventures. Then we have Dave from Super Slam Outdoors. And the mastermind behind all this, Big John Fever from Fishing with Fever. So if you guys haven't checked out their uh, channels, head over there and subscribe and see what their fishing day is. The neat thing is, we'll be releasing this in July and I have no idea what their hands are going to be. They have no idea what my hands are going to be. So it's going to be very, very interesting. It's a pretty windy day today. Uh, the wind's coming about 20, 20 kilometers, but it's coming from the west. If it was coming from the east, we'd be kind of hooped. But I looked at the wind reports and, and this weekend the wind was always coming from the west. So we're going to uh, back the boat in. We're going to get on the water. And uh, hopefully we'll start tying into some walleyes. I'll show you guys once we get into the boat um, what I'm going to be fishing with. All right, guys. So we're in the water here. Uh, right now we're sitting in about uh, six six point six feet of water. Uh, we're basically just wind drifting uh, some spinners right now. I got about uh, I think it's a one ounce weight, and then um, a liter with a spinner. Spinners tend to do pretty darn good uh, this time of year out here. So we're gonna give this a try. If we get, if this doesn't work out, then uh, we'll switch over some crankbaits and some jigs and we're just gonna keep going until uh, we hook into some fish. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it is windy today. All right, and oh yeah, before I forget, so my fishing partner today is my dad, Juan. And uh, so, We'll see if uh, he, he can tie into some fish. I know sometimes he struggles a little bit, so. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what the outcome of the series is gonna be, but at this point in time, go Habs, go. <laughs> well guys, just to give you guys a little update, uh, it's 10 o'clock right now, so I don't think I mentioned this, but we hit the water about nine. So we've been fishing for an hour. We've just been battling this wind, it's been crazy. Uh, but yeah, we, we lost one right at the boat, um, unfortunately, fighting the wind, and I couldn't man the net, and, and just the way she goes, I guess. inches I'm gonna I'm gonna apologize I'm 
I have my chest mount, but with the wind, I don't have a speaker for my chest mount. There's no way that it'll be even enjoyable at all. So I'm gonna try to film the fish in action as much as I can, but you know, unfortunately the conditions uh, aren't, aren't very favorable right now. Well guys, yeah, we had to get off the lake. I don't know if you guys can hear and see this, but it's, it's insane out there. Absolutely insane. So looking at the wind forecast, it looks like it might uh, settle down um, around four-ish, four or five. Um, so we put in three hours already, so hoping, hoping we can get back out there this evening. If not, I guess uh, the 116 inch walleye is all we got. Um, but out, we're gonna go out to the Moose Lake because uh, the wind direction out here doesn't affect Moose Lake. And uh, we're gonna try to get a couple pike. I mean, what else can you do, right? Can't uh, can't do anything about Mother Nature. All right. So uh, hopefully uh, you'll see us with a couple more walleye before the end of the day. If not, it is what it is. All right, guys. It's 6 p.m. We're heading back out on the Lake of the Woods. Um, the wind has definitely died down significantly. I'm not gonna say it's totally gone. Cause it's not. And it's only supposed to get uh, less and less windy from here on in. So. Probably won't be able to put a full eight hours in, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to get some walleye in the boat here in the next few hours and uh, get a good poker hand going. All right, so fingers crossed. It's on. show you guys my setup here so yeah just a spinner with a chunk of worm and a little weight that's it that's all just letting the wind push us and wind drifting all right get some more fish on the board all right guys we just got another one all right let's see here oh, 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 oh. stop Oh. <laughs> All right, oh. enough. Sixteen. Sixteen. We got a pair. Right. Woo! Look at that, guys. We got a pair. <laughs> the, the fishing isn't like out unreal, but you know what? I'm happy. We got a pair. So I've definitely tried um, three different colored spinners now, a um, couple crankbaits, a couple rapalas, some jigs. Really the only thing they've honestly been hitting on today are the spinners. Um, and it hasn't been hot and heavy, but like I said, most of the day we couldn't even get onto the lake. It was so bad, so um, happy to be on the board. Hoping that it'd uh, be nice if we got another 16 and a 14, we can make a little full house. But I'll take a pair for now. I was, I was getting pretty disappointed there that I wasn't going to be able to put together a uh, playing hand. So, so we got probably another hour uh, before it gets a little bit too dark. So fingers crossed we can get a couple more fish in the boat. Fish on, baby! Fish on! Okay, which way you going? I'm gonna come, come this way. I'm gonna come this way. Not a big one. Uh, oh, 16. Or 14. Oh, it's a nice one. Yes! 
All right, let's see what we got here, guys. Uh, uh. Oh, another 16! I'll even show you guys. Boom! <laughs> Three of a kind, we need a 14, and we got a full house! Woo! Well, it looks like fish o'clock is upon us, guys. Oh, this one's a nice one. This so, uh, there you go, got another one. Put her down here. Uh, what we got here? Huh, you gotta be joking me. No, <laughs> 16 again. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Check that again. <laughs> oh, guys, guys. <laughs> Four of a kind, 60. We're just having the 16s. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this right now, but we got a little, uh, we got a little convoy of, uh, or no, an es a little escort of dragonflies. All these little white flies start coming out, and these dragonflies are just messing them up. I actually had just had a dragonfly eating a bug on my shoulder. It's pretty sick. Yeah, take take care of those little guys. Woo! Great day on the lake. Can't wait to see what you boys pulled out. I'm I'm sitting pretty happy with our hand, that's for sure. Holy shit, guys! I just fucking caught <laughs> the biggest perch of my freaking life. What do we got here? Just, just shy of 14. Just shy of 14. Oh. Well, we're starting to pull up to the launch here. Unless something crazy happens and I uh, catch something like a 16 inch and make it a five of a kind. I think that's gonna be my hand. Four of a kind for sixes and then, um, the little 14 inch is a four, so I guess four high. You got a fish? Yeah? Why don't you say something? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> well, there we go. A little sauger, I guess, to end the day. <laughs> well, Juanita's finally on the board with the sauger. <laughs> Well, like I said, you know, for a day that turned out so crappy, I'm so happy how it turned out. Now, make sure you guys go check out their channels. Like I said, it's going to be down in the description. Uh, just as for a reminder, it was Outdoor Anonymous, Fishing with Fever, uh, Super Slam Outdoors, and Manitoba Fishing Adventures. All right, guys, I really hope you guys like this little series that we're putting together. Um, you know, I can see this being a yearly thing, and I just want to uh, give a big thank you to uh, John Fever from Fishing with Fever, because he's the one who uh, was the mastermind behind all this. So anyways, I think we're just going to end it there. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully I got the winning hand. Def I won't be finding out till July. And uh, go Habs, go! I guess my uh, lucky Carey Price uh, jersey did it again. Thanks guys, we'll catch you guys in the next one.